How's it going, everyone? Caleb here with Layton Gaming. Next up, it's going to be Darius. Going with a Brilliant Stars booster. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, assuming that's what it is. Based on the price. Yep. Good luck here. Let's do this. Yo, what's up, Brandon? How you doing, man? What is up? Hope you're having a good evening, Brandon. Happy Wednesday. How has this semester been and stuff so far, man? Just got destroyed on a uh, group project grade, but it's okay. We figured out what we did wrong. But we shouldn't have gotten destroyed that hard still. But it's whatever. It, it's like a small portion of the grade. But we thought we did way better, so it's kind of discouraging. Uh, buyback products of Pokemon. Explain a little bit more what you mean exactly, Brandon. We've got Executor and Manaphy. Explain exactly what you mean. Magmortar, Escavalier. I think I kind of know what you're saying. Good luck here, Darius. Kindler and a Dusknor Hollow. <laughs> Dedene. Very nice trainer gallery hit. Good one there. And a Fly Gun. Nice Dedene trainer gallery card. Beautiful. Nice, Brandon. Nice. Yeah, I, I don't even want to talk about ours. It's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. It doesn't matter at all. It's such a low percentage of the grade. Magmar and Simisir V. Nice. There you go, Darius. They do Break Kings. I have seen other companies do similar products, but for Pokemon. I mean, that's kind of what the Almanac is, Brandon. But yeah, I hear you. Um, Acerola. Electrive. I mean, that's basically exactly what the Almanac is. With that being said, Brandon, we do have plans of um, a $100 Almanac pretty soon. $100-ish dollar buy-in. We also have plans of a $300 to $400-ish dollar buy-in later on. Uh, but the $100-ish dollar buy-in will be first. And then we also, Brandon, could consider doing something kind of like that. It's a good idea. Uh, that way, there'd kind of always be something in stock as well. I guess my fear then is just like, what's the point of the almanac? Then? That's only so often. Staraptor, but I hear exactly what you're saying now. It'd be a pretty cool way to do it. Uh, and there's a lot of different ways we could do something like that, whether it be with uh, slabs, singles, sealed, Ariados Trainer Gallery. There you go, Darius. Nice spider. Um, so it's something I could definitely... Have a deeper chat with Lane about. We're usually the people that try to brainstorm those things together. Boss's order hollow. I do see why you'd say that there would be definitely the demand for it, though, for sure, Brandon. We have Flygon V. There you go. <clears throat> Appreciate the idea. Let's keep going. Uh, Chimeko and Mewtwo. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Very nice. We've got Sharon's Care. Beautiful. Full art trainer. Nice one there. Congrats on that, Darius. Nice Sharon's Care. Uh, we do, Michael. The next one that we're going to have coming will be the 100-ish dollar buy-in. Uh, we don't have, like, a price finalized yet. That was kind of, like, our goal when making it, though. That the buy-in would be about 100-ish dollars. Uh, we probably already have enough cards to go about building it. However, we're probably going to be kind of picky, so I don't know if we have quite enough cards yet. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably have another one ready in about a month or so. Um, and then, yeah, we'll probably have a, another one in the three to 500-ish dollar buy-in tier, ready in about three months, I would estimate. But yeah, I would estimate that maybe a month away from the $100-ish, and then probably about um, three-ish months away from the three to 500-ish dollar buy-in tier. Uh, like I said, those are nowhere near like uh, finalized prices. It's just kind of what we've been referring to it as. So we have an idea of where each card is potentially going to go and whatnot. Mag Mortar. So yeah, pretty excited. Um, but that being said, the $100 one is still all PSA or Beckett slabs. All still PSA or Beckett slabs. So no raw. Um, and no CGC, no other companies besides PSA or Beckett for that cheaper one there. Uh, Dusknor and Infernape Hollow. Nice. 
with that being said when we do get to the 300 to 500 dollar tier one uh, a few months from now that one we are planning to include um, slabs sealed products potentially some complete sets um, stuff like that for that 300 to 500 dollar tier one uh, so that's kind of where we're at right now but of course all these details will be announced a lot more times in the future so just uh, stay connected of course through the social media accounts and stuff like that through just watching the stream as well great place to catch these details mimic uv there for psychic but yeah pretty dang excited about uh, some of these things let me get this dust real quick as well pretty dang excited about some of these things we do have coming up come on darius need a big one here for you as well nice trainer so far alchemy pretty dang excited and uh, working quite hard on these two different tiers and stuff like that. Baratic and Infernapalo. But we figure it would be awesome to still make it all PSA and Beckett for that cheaper one. And uh, I think we still found some crazy cards. You guys are going to be, I think, blown away by that almanac. Lipard and Buizel, in my opinion. Wow, very nice. We've got the gold. Rapid Striker Shifu VMAX. Gold and blue. Very nice, man. Such a clean Pokemon card. There you go. Uh, yes. We will, I believe, Michael. I think I'm going to be breaking at the National. I'm pretty sure we'll probably have a separate setup than Leighton Sports Cards. Good question, though. Pretty sure we'll probably be separately set up from uh, Leighton Sports Cards. Probably like the same booth, but they'll probably be like a sports side and a gaming side. Uh, very, very likely. As we're looking to kind of continue increasing our show presence as well, Michael. We just went to Collecticon um, the past weekend. We're planning to go to the rest of the Collecticons here in the year. We're also planning to go to Megacon in um, May. And uh, yes, we were already planning to go to the National. Um, so it's, it's very likely that we're going to have our own kind of... You know, setup that's not the same as the sports there. Uh, very, very likely. We've got the Kingler VMAX, but regardless, even if it's not separate, uh, I will at least be at the sports card booth. I know that. Nice Kingler VMAX. But almost positive it will be. <clears throat> very nice. Yeah, for sure, Michael. For sure. I'm uh, really looking forward to all of those upcoming shows that I just listed off. Uh, that's about a half dozen shows right there. Nice, Daniel. Yeah, the Almanacs will probably always, Daniel, be on Saturday and Sunday, to be honest. It'll probably always be five cases Saturday, the next five cases on Sunday. That'll pretty much probably be every single Almanac, to be honest, Daniel. As those are just like the most popular days for streaming, those are like some of the biggest breaks we do. Um, and it works out well to do half one day and then half the other. So yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely noted though as well. Professor's Research Hollow. I think that's kind of how it would be. Um, for sure. Yep. <clears throat> we usually actually try to plan it on the weekends, so it does work like that. Drampa V, very nice. There you go. Drampa for you now, Darius. Yeah, correct. Even the 100, exactly. Yep. Exactly. I mean, once again, I still think that People are probably going to, I mean, potentially even like this cheaper tier a little bit more as it's a little bit less stress and you can still get an awesome like chase and I mean, just with the spot, um, star you and Wormadam, just with the spot guarantee yourself a slab. So I have a feeling that this $100 tier might end up being just as popular after it's all said and done. So, uh, and like I said, just uh, based off the fact that I have, of course, seen a lot of the slabs, um, all of them that is that would be potentially in something like this. I have a great idea and great feeling that you guys would enjoy it. Magma Basin, Manaphy. And like I said, not finalized at 100 or anything, but that's just kind of the price that we've been keeping in the back of our minds. We've got Clang and a Mewtwo. But yeah, like I said, we're looking to really increase our show presence as well. Planning to probably head to the rest of the Collecticons, so that's about five shows. Plan to head to the National. Um, I believe that's August. And then I probably also, I will be going to Vegas, potentially. Um, and then also we're going to be heading to Megacon, which is here in Orlando as well. Burmy, Moltres, Hollow. 
So, a bunch of different stuff coming up for us. In terms of uh, some different shows and whatnot. Gabbit, Grimsnall. Shroomish and Electrive. Nice. Going three left here. Bibarel and Ice Cube. Yeah, but I would say currently I probably have about, I mean, it's got to be about 160 or 180 slabs that could potentially go into that 100-ish dollar tier almanac uh, to kind of sort through and pick through. Whoa! Darius! Boom! Rainbow! Charizard V-Star! Boom! Wow! Oh, man! I was chatting, and all of a sudden I looked down, and there was a rainbow Charizard in my hand. Oh, man. That's awesome. There you go, man. Congrats, Darius. That's sick. That was a cold box as well. I will be the first to say it. That was a slow box. And then all of the sudden, big rainbow Charizard V-Star. Congrats, man. That's going to get magged for you. Very, very nice. Wow, that's sick. That is sick. Congratulations there, man. Let's go. That will get magged. Mag tag on that. Yeah, Daniel, your boxes were very good. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think I have, like I said, we have like something like 160 to 180 slabs in that range. So, we have quite a few to work with. Of course, an almanac is always a 100 card run. Um, 10 cases of 10. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to uh, potentially start building that and finding just a couple more pieces to really finalize it and make it a great product for you guys. And there you go, Darius. What a great box that was. We'll get those all protected up, man, and sent right out to you. Awesome luck there. Congrats.